Are you guys ready to see Tom Ellis jump from Lucifer to Jacob? Jacob is a recently divorced father who falls in love with Sasha, played by Emma Roberts. Sounds promising, right? With no further ado, here's everything you need to know about the upcoming rom-com. Oh, did we mention that Ellis will work with his wife on this project? The much-anticipated romantic comedy is titled The Second Wife, and it'll be dark. So, so dark. Finally, fans of rom-coms will be able to enjoy something different. The Second Wife is promised to be a one-of-a-kind project that is expected to take the world by storm. Honestly, it feels like it's been a century since we last saw Ellis on our small screens. I've binge-watched Lucifer for the third time, and I'm still angry with the fact that Netflix didn't renew the series for a seventh season. But now that there's another project with Ellis coming out, we have no reason to worry. The best thing is that The Second Wife will be a TV show, and I really hope that Hulu will give us more seasons because we're about to say goodbye to yet another favorite TV show this year, The Handmaid's Tale. Anyway, there are so many interesting facts about The Second Wife. First, Megan Oppenheimer, creator of Tell Me Lies, another hit series by Hulu, is set to direct the upcoming series. As I mentioned before, the show is led by the amazingly talented and beautiful Emma Roberts and the Lucifer star Tom Ellis. I'm saying that I've realized something here in this city of angels. But this isn't the first time Roberts and Oppenheimer are set to work together. This is, in fact, their second collaboration, as Roberts also executive produces Tell Me Lies. This is, however, Ellis and Oppenheimer's first collaboration. The fact that they're married in real life makes this whole thing more enjoyable. Thanks to Variety, we also know that The Second Wife is a dark comedy focusing on a character named Sasha, portrayed by Roberts, who recently went through a horrible breakup. In order to forget about this and simply turn a new page in her life, she leaves New York to start over in London. Her life takes a wild turn when she meets a recently divorced father named Jacob, portrayed by Ellis. She falls in love with him, he falls in love with her, and shortly after they start dating, they decided to get married. But they don't know anything about each other, which turns out to be an issue later. Both are running away from their pasts, and one keeps a big dark secret. No matter the depth of my cruelty, whatever minuscule attention I paid. As mentioned before, Oppenheimer also worked on Tell Me Lies, a show that premiered on Hulu in September 2022. She's quite busy now because she works on The Second Wife as well as the second season of Tell Me Lies. Thankfully, Hulu is more generous with renewals, which is why we hope to see at the least two seasons of Second Wife. Oppenheimer also wrote for AMC's The Walking Dead spinoff Fear the Walking Dead and the series Queen America. Based on her work so far, she's really talented. As for Roberts, she has many roles under her belt, including Nickelodeon's Unfabulous, FX's American Horror Story, and Fox's Scream Queens. She's also set to make an appearance in the Marvel film Madame Web, which is set to be released sometime in 2024. Ellis became an overnight sensation when he appeared in Netflix's Lucifer. Before landing the role of the titular character, he appeared in BBC One's Miranda, USA Network's Rush, and BBC Three's The Fades. I am incapable of love. Per a report by Deadline, Oppenheimer directs his second wife and executive produces alongside Ellison Roberts. We also know that you need to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Okay, seriously, let's get into more details regarding the plot, production, and cast ensemble of the series, shall we? Second Wife is expected to focus on Ellison Roberts' characters completely. As mentioned before, the two are set to embark on a wild adventure after quickly deciding to get married. The thing is, they don't know anything about each other. In fact, they'll realize there's a lot they don't know about each other after they get married. The synopsis of the series also says that they can't outrun their past forever. The show is also said to be a dark comedy about intimacy, failure, and second chances. Fans have been waiting for a project by husband and wife duo Ellis and Oppenheimer for years, and we truly believe this project is going to be so successful and popular that they'll have many, many collaborations in the future. Oppenheimer's career took a positive turn when she wrote her first screenplay, The Remains, which was put on the 2013 blacklist. She then co-wrote the Zac Efron film, We're Your Friends. But who else is on board for The Second Wife Season 1? Honestly, we have no idea. Sadly, everything about the series is kept under wrap, with Ellis continuously promoting the series on his social media accounts. Once the show was announced, Ellis was quick to confirm the news, sharing his excitement about working with his wife and his respected co-star, Roberts. The actor used his Instagram page to say how excited he is about teaming up with a ridiculously talented love of his life, and, as he wrote, the also ridiculously talented and wonderful Emma Roberts for this show. A lot of Ellis's fans and co-stars congratulated him in the comments. Actor Kevin Alejandro, who played Dan Espinosa in Lucifer, wrote, Congratulations, Tom. I can't wait to see what you all create. Actress Rachel Harris, who played therapist Linda in the popular series, congratulated the actor by writing, This is major. So excited for you all. Followed by a love heart emoji. 
In Bar Lavi, the actress who played Eve in the Netflix series was happy for Ellis as well. We're so excited about this, are you? Do you think the series will go beyond season 1? Let us know before we get into more details regarding Tom Ellis and Emma Roberts' involvement in the series. Not only are Ellis and Roberts set to lead the show, but they're also part of the creative team. We already mentioned that the plot will revolve around their characters and the secrets they've been keeping from each other. Don't ever forget me again. I promise I'll be good. There will be one big secret that will cause a lot of conflicts between them. To be honest, I think Roberts' character has done something terrible in her past and now the past is going to catch up with her, which is why she would have to tell her husband what happened and the two would look for a solution. That sounds like a reliable theory, right? Anyway, when Lucifer ended, fans wanted to see either Ellis in another season of the show or see him working on something else. The actor took a short break from acting because, well, he needed one. But now he's set to appear in a couple of projects. We've already talked about his involvement with The Second Wife, but did you guys know that he's also set to play the lead role in Hulu's upcoming adaptation of the novel Washington Black? In the series, Tom will co-star opposite Sterling K. Brown, Per report by Deadline, this show will be a lot different from Lucifer as it will completely focus on science rather than religion. The show is set to be released in 2023. Sadly, we're still waiting for Hulu to come out with an official release date for The Second Wife. Our guess is that we'll see the first episode sometimes at the beginning of 2024 and the earliest. Even though he's set to appear in many upcoming projects, fans are still wondering whether Ellis will star as Lucifer again and we're happy to announce that yes, there's a possibility of this coming true. You wish to invade the dreaming. If you command it. And then perhaps the waking world. The actor portrayed a character that was made popular by DC Comics, The Sandman. The Sandman was given a screen adaptation by Netflix with Tom Sturridge, Boyd Holbrook and Patton Oswalt in the lead roles. In this TV show, Gwendolyn Christie plays Lucifer Morningstar. We also know that you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Some fans wanted to see Alice portray the character again, but Christie's portrayal is closer to Lucifer's description in the comics. Alice was considered to play the character, but the creators decided that Christie's portrayal is a better fit. See you in the next video.